My name is Yuma Kudo. I'm a 24-year-old salary man. Working was going pretty well. I was blessed with good colleagues, and I was fulfilled with my life. Hey, Yuma. Great job today. Looking forward to the meeting in the afternoon. Thank you. Yes, you can leave it to me. Hey, hey, your cheeks are red and you're making a pathetic face. Koki, that was just an involuntary response. I had a secret crush with my manager in the same department, Miss Mari Ito. That being said, because she is in the same department as my manager, I couldn't exactly make a move on her. On the outside, I seem easygoing and like I'm not afraid of anything. But on the inside, I'm just a chicken. Oh, that's right. Thank you for yesterday, Koki. No, no, thank you. And thank you for treating us. Hmm? Did you go drinking with Miss Ito? Oh, yeah, she invited me yesterday after we worked overtime, along with the director, Miss Tachibana, and others, too. Oh, really? I was also working overtime yesterday, though. Things like this happen every now and then. Now that I think about it, I can't remember the last time I went drinking with Miss Ito. It's been more than a few months. Everybody knew that she loved going drinking. I can't drink very much myself, but I do enjoy it. So there was no reason why I shouldn't be invited. And yet, for some reason, I had never been invited by Miss Ito. Am I being purposefully left out? No, no, no. I'm overthinking it. I really have developed into a proud corporate slave. This is a good place to stop, so I guess I'll leave for today. Hey, Koki! Let's go drinking today. Today? Again? Going drinking has no limits. Oh, maybe this is my opportunity to go with him? Well, sure, why not? Should we invite Yuma too? Uh, no, that's not allowed. Come on, let's go. Not allowed? And that was the moment that my suspicions that I was being purposefully left out were confirmed. The next day. Ah, yesterday I was so devastated that I wasn't able to sleep at all. The only explanation for that was that I was disliked. I felt like I had my heart broken without doing anything. Good morning, Yuma. Shoot. Uh, uh, oh, um, good morning. You're looking a little pale today. Are you working too hard? Who, who knows? Maybe. Well then, I have a meeting, so I'm going to go. Hmm? After that, I started to avoid her. And it's not like I hated her now, either. It's not like I was intentionally avoiding her, but my body was running away on its own. However, it's not like I could continue like that forever. Miss Ito and I work in the same department. Unless one of us quits the company, we would have to work together, and there was no way that we wouldn't interact. No matter how much I run away, it doesn't solve the problem. I'm an adult. I'm a working adult. I'm a man. I need to muster up the courage and ask for a meeting. <sighs> uh, um, Miss Ito. What? Yuma? There's something that I would like to speak with you about. But would you have time right now? Y yeah, I do have some time. But what do you want to talk about? I'm going to cut straight to the point. Um... Why am I the only one that you don't invite? What? To drinks. Why don't you ever invite me? Uh, because, because when I get drunk, it makes me want to kiss. Excuse me? Uh, I mean, that was just, I mean, uh, anyway, I just can't invite you to go out drinking with me, Yuma. Well, then, I have a meeting to start now, so... Wait, I couldn't understand what she was saying. When she gets drunk, she wants to kiss... Does that mean that if I go out drinking with her, that I could have a kiss from her? No, wait a second. Don't get carried away and think about this logically. She is self-aware that drinking makes her want to kiss. So, the reason why she refuses to invite me to go out drinking? Hmm. That must mean that no matter how drunk she might be, she would hate to kiss me. <sighs> and once again, without doing anything, I was experiencing my second heartbreak. Hey, Koki! When you go out drinking with Miss Ito, what is she like? What? It's just normal. She loves to drink, but I guess she's not that strong against it. She often gets too drunk on her own and she falls asleep. Um, has she ever tried to kiss you or... Huh? I know it's pathetic, but I couldn't help but be curious. I found myself asking Koki who often goes drinking with her. Wait a minute. Did you find out? What? About Miss Ito's secret. You know that she actually... Mr. Suzuki, you have a phone call from Mr. Kumatami over at Rokutura Trading Company. Be right there. My bad. Uh, we'll have to continue this another time. Sh sure. A secret, huh? Wh what? Oh, uh, nothing. Uh, okay. Ever since I heard Miss Ito's strange confession, 
she and I become a little bit more awkward toward each other. Was she, was she just joking? No, but it definitely didn't seem like a place for a joke. And plus, I really want to know what the secret was that Kogi was talking about. I couldn't get Miss Ito's so-called secret out of my head. And I couldn't focus on my work at all. I want to hear it as soon as possible. That's what I thought, but Koki was so busy with his work that he didn't have any spare time to talk. However, I couldn't stand just sit around and wait for Koki to tell me the rest, so I thought of a plan. The sashimi here is their specialty, you know? Mmm, it really makes the bay go down, doesn't it? Pardon me, I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, Koki, thanks for going to those meetings today. I gathered information about the place where she likes to drink, and I decided to sneak in. I don't know, but this feels really wrong. No, I just so happen to be out having a drink by myself. And I just so happen to coincidentally see many people from my company. That's what I kept telling myself as I kept my eye on Miss Ito. However, there wasn't anything particularly strange. She did seem a little bit drunk, but she didn't look like she was going to kiss anybody around her. And their conversations were about recently trending music and TV shows, about work, or other trivial things like that that were nothing special. It was a happy hour you would see anywhere. That's the impression I got. I'm going out for a smoke. I'll be right back. Excuse me, would you like to join me outside for a breath? What? You noticed? It was so obvious. Don't underestimate your colleague. <clears throat> what the hell am I doing? That reminds me, I didn't get to tell you the rest about Miss Ito. It's about the secret, isn't it? But she didn't seem to be doing anything strange. That's because you're not there. Huh? Well, Miss Ito gets drunk. It makes her want to kiss people, but the only person she likes... What? You know, she's been thinking really serious about it. Until now, when she gets drunk, she would come on too strong to the people that she likes. And then they would be freaked out by that, and she would be rejected. She said it's happened many times. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, so does that mean the reason why Miss Ito won't invite me to go drinking is... Yeah, it's because she likes you. You're joking, right? There are a lot of people here today, so it's not ideal, but you should try going drinking with her alone and test it out. I'm sure you can't believe this when it's coming from someone that's not her. If you go drink with her, she kisses you? Are you serious? So, does that mean that Miss Ito and I, we both like each other? No, no, don't get carried away. It could be Koki's misunderstanding. However, unless I invite her to go out drinking, then nothing will get solved. Miss Ito, there's something I wanted to ask you about concerning work. Sure, go ahead. What's the matter? Oh, it's a little hard to talk in the office. Would you like to go for a drink? Uh, uh, sorry, I can't today, um... Uh, how about tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow I have a business dinner. And the next day? I have plans with my grandma. Ever since I heard about Miss Ito from Koki, an endless cycle began of a guy that definitely wanted to go drinking and a girl that definitely did not want to go drinking. But without wavering, I continued to invite her. However, she was a lot stronger than I thought, and I still haven't been able to go out drinking with her. Those days going of back and forth continue, until one day, a one phone call would change my life. What's up? You're free right now, right? Yeah, I can't stand by and watch you two anymore. Come to Pub Nanakuma, now. What? Why? Just come. I had a feeling that it might have to do with Miss Ito, so I hurried to get ready and headed out of my house. Wait! Where did Koki go? Maki is gone and Mr. Yamasaki isn't here. Whoa, whoa. What is going on here? Why is Miss Ito here by herself? That's what I thought and I put up my cell phone. Are you serious? I mean, I'm really happy that I can drink with Miss Ito, but now I'm nervous. What? Yuma? Uh, uh, well, this is just, um, Koki called me here and I thought it would be nice if I could have a drink with you, Miss Ito. Oh, what? Wait, Miss Ito! I really wanted to see you, Yuma. No, no, wait. I need you to come next to me now. Come here, sit next to me. Miss Ito? Um... I'm not Miss Ito. My name is Mari. This is a direct order from your manager. You have to call me Mari. M m miss Mari. Well done. Wah! It turns out that what Koki was saying was correct. It almost feels like I'm in paradise. No, wait, but I need to be a little mindful that we're in public. And plus, I felt guilty like a shady guy who's using the power of alcohol. It seems like she had quite a bit to drink, too. I got worried and I stopped her hand that was going for another drink and 
I made her drink water. And then perhaps she started to sober up a little bit because her attacks were getting weaker. And then the atmosphere changed 180 degrees. Y Yuma, you were hit. Yes. W wait, but where are Koki and everyone else? They left quite a while ago. Uh, I see. I, um, um, I, 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 I must have been a huge bother to you, wasn't I? It's, it's still faintly in my memory, but you must have been uncomfortable, weren't you? I'm really, really, I'm so sorry. It wasn't a bother at all. And I wasn't uncomfortable at all either. If anything, I was happy. What? All right, it's gotten pretty late now already, so why don't we get going? S sure. Uh, um, Yuma, uh, about what you were saying earlier? Yeah, I was really happy that I was able to drink with you, Miss Ito. Because I completely thought that you hated me. What? I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? I'm the only one that could never get invited out to drinks. But it seems that wasn't the case, so I'm relieved. Although it did seem like a very strange reason. Wait, did I? <laughs> I heard from Koki already. Koki, I thought I could trust him to keep his mouth shut. Koki was probably doing that for my sake because I'm a coward. You must be so freaked out that a grown adult would get so drunk and then come on so strongly to the person she likes. I'm not freaked out at all. I was happy. What? Because um, I also like you, Miss Marty. What? Ever since I first joined the company, I've looked up to you. And then as time went on, I found myself wanting to be by your side as more than a colleague. But I'm a chicken, so well, I couldn't express that to you at all. And that's why I can't help but wonder, what do you like about me? We both have our own weaknesses. In the beginning, I just adored you as a member of my team, but I guess it happened over the last few months. Even if you look like you don't care most of the time, I realized that you were more passionate about your work than anybody else. I was drawn to you, and day by day I found myself falling for you. I should be asking you, are you sure you're okay with me, who is this pathetic? I only want you. R really? Well then, Yuma. What? You know I'm sober right now. This isn't just the alcohol speaking. And so, this is my first kiss with you, Yuma. And so, the curtain closed on the battle between the guy that definitely wanted to go drinking and the girl that definitely didn't want to go drinking. After that... Phew! Finally, finally done! All right, Yuma, we're going drinking. Yes, of course. I'm so glad they got together. So glad. But from now on, going drinking with the two of them will be hell. So I think I'll avoid going when they're together. Hello. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you all next time. Bye-bye.